Madam Foreperson, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. Then what say you? We find the defendant guilty of not being the O oh God, omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent, and all loving. Thank you. Mm -hmm. To members of the jury, the prosecution, and the defense, I'm ready to move to the sentencing process. But before I do, I have a few things to say. You are not the first, and you will not be the last, who have decided that God is not God. Life can be full of joy and wonder, as it can be full of pain and struggle. There are many difficult questions to ask and to answer, and many of the questions cannot be answered by human beings. As humans, the capacity to fully understand God and the ways of God are limited. But God is not limited by your understanding or lack of understanding. And God, God is not limited by your faith in God. God's wisdom, power, presence, and love have been questioned from the beginning of time. And people who have put their faith in God over and over again have hoped that God will make their lives perfect. And he will. But each hopes it will happen for them in the way and time that they wish as if the people were God, but only God can be God. God has entrusted you with the capability to choose to love God with your whole heart, <coughs> mind, soul, and strength. As you learn throughout the questioning, without wavering, God's response is always, I love you. As you've experienced in this trial, there can always be a witness for the prosecution or the defense. God has given you the free will to choose whether to trust him or not. I know all who worked in this trial have come to understand that no matter what happens in life, we are God's creations, and what God loves and will care for into eternity, no matter what happens to any person. And so they are learning to trust God, even when it seems that God may not be trustworthy. But we have learned how trustworthy God is, and you will learn that too. For as judge in a trial when human beings have once again found God guilty of not being God and are ready to condemn God, God is still willing to love and forgive you. For I, J. Jesus, have taken on your conviction. When God came to you in me, and you rejected God in me, crucifying and burying me, God raised me from the dead to show me that nothing, not even your conviction of him, can separate you from the love of God through me. And so in the face of your conviction, I rise to take on the consequences of your inability to fully trust God. I rise to show you that no matter your response to God, God's response is always love. For now, you will know that you can trust God at this table of God's grace, where my body and my blood have been broken and spilled out for you. And you, like all others who have convicted God, are welcome at this table. Where God's grace is open to you, come to the table of God's grace and be with God as God is with you. God knows. God has power beyond your understanding. God is with all, everywhere, and he loves all, completely. I know how hard this life can be. Put your faith in me, and I will lead you to God. Come to the table where your conviction of me is turned into yet another proof of my grace below for you. For I take your conviction of God, then I raise again to give you life.
Let us pray. Thank you for being the friend who will never leave us or forsake us. Thank you for being the teacher, showing us the way we should go. Thank you for being the protector, helping us stand firm in you. Thank you for being our savior, rescuing us from the chains of our sin. This we pray for our sakes, of your name, amen.
take and eat. salvation. 